Hello viewers, welcome to Trinity Software. In this video, we are going to see about stack data structure and we are going to write a menu driven Python program to implement this stack using list data type. Let's see what is stack first. Stack is actually a linear data structure. Linear data structure means that data elements are arranged in sequential manner and each data element is connected to its previous and next element. So this data structure is easy to implement as computer memory is also sequential. So if we see a real time example for stack, here we have the stack of books. Six books are arranged in a sequential manner as a stack. And Python book is placed at the topmost position. It means that it is added at the end. There are two operations in stack, insertion and deletion. These operations are also called as push and pop. Push refers to insertion and pop refers to deletion operation. In stack, a new element will be added at one end called top and an element can be removed from that end only. Let us see this scenario. We have some six books scattered and we are going to arrange this in a stack. This is a stack of five books. Java is placed at the fifth position. So that position is referred to as top. Now, as I said, we have two operations in stack, push and pop operation. Push refers to insertion. We are trying to insert an element or in this case a book to the stack of books. So, push operation will place the book at the topmost position. Python will be placed in the stack of books. And now the topmost position will be Python and not Java. So, that is the concept of LIFO, last in first out. The last in is Python and when you are going to perform pop operation, the last added element will be deleted first. So, after performing the pop operation, this last added one will be deleted from the stack and now it contains 5 books. Again, I have done pop operation. Java book is also popped out. Next, C++ is also popped out. Every time, the top position points to the topmost element at the stack. So this is the basic concept of a stack data structure. Both the operations push and pop happens at the same end only. Now we will see how to implement this easily using Python data type called list. We can start. So we are just going to concentrate on the two main operations insertion and deletion called as push and pop. So we will write the functions for push and pop first. I have a function push and we'll see what are the parameters to be passed to the push function. It's going to be the stack. In this case, the stack can be represented as a list data type in Python. So I'll just use stk as the list name and then we should also pass the item to be pushed to the stack. So that is the second argument stack and item. Okay. And in Python, we have various methods in list. We are going to make use of append method for this push operation. Append method is actually for appending or adding elements to the list. So this element will be added to the last position of the list. So we can use this append method here stack dot append and the item to be appended to the list stack dot append of item. I can have a print statement stating that is pushed to the stack. Okay, no. Next we have something called pop function. Pop function is to delete an element from the stack. The topmost element will be deleted. So we can just pass the stack alone as an argument to this pop function. To perform this pop operation, we have a method in list called pop itself. Actually pop, we have an uh, optional argument called index. So if it is not mentioned, it will uh, take the last index. So I can just give stack dot pop. So this will uh, return the element present in the last index. I am just going to retrieve that element uh, in a variable called i. That is the popped out element is retrieved at i. After retrieving this element, I can just print i is popped out from the stack. 
okay and uh, let me check what are the other possibilities in case if the stack is empty this is not going to work there is no element in the stack means you cannot pop an element from the list so i will have an if condition if stack equal to empty i am checking if the stack is empty in that case we'll have a print message stating that stack is empty so we cannot pop any element and in the else part we can perform these operations now we can display the elements present in the stack by just passing this stack as an argument to display function it's going to be simple we'll just have a print function it will list out all the elements of the list but if the stack is empty you will get an empty square brackets so i can have the same condition here if stack is empty and have the message printed as stack is empty else part you can just print stack that's it fine so we have defined all the three functions push pop and display now it's time to call this functions first let me initialize the list stack either i can initialize it as an empty list or i can add one or two elements to it i'll just add one element to the stack you can also have it as an empty list now we are giving the option to the user to either push an element to the stack or pop an element from the stack or to display the elements of the stack so the user can uh, do this push and pop operations as many times as they wish so i will place this in a while loop while loop and i will give this menu driven option the first option is push to stack second option is pop from stack and third option is display stack that's it these are the three options we had and the last option is you can just quit after performing push pop and uh, display operations the user can quit whenever he or she wishes to okay now we are getting the choice from the user using a choice variable and it should be an integer input int of input enter your choice it can be anything from 1 to 4 okay that we have obtained in c hash now based on the user's choice it can be 1 2 or 3 or any other number if any other number it can just quit from this loop first if choice is one what we are supposed to do we are just going to push the element to the stack so we are going to call this push function push function it has two arguments push stack comma item so item must be obtained from the user so we will get the item now from the user it can be either a string input or an integer input since list can accept any data type so in this case i have initialized the stack to an integer so i will continue with adding more integers to the stack so we'll get the input as integer into of input of element to be pushed to the stack okay that's it we have written for choice 1 if the user has chosen choice 2 that is pop from the stack then you have to call this pop function of stack sorry it is lf lf the user has chosen choice 3 it's going to be display of stack else for all the other conditions you can just come out of the loop and thereby come out of the program also so that's it we have written the menu driven program for implementing stack in python let's run and check the output 
So here we have got the four options. I'll first take the third option to display what are the elements present. 100 is already there. Now I'll push one more element to it. 200 is pushed. 200 is pushed to stack. Again I'll choose option 1. 300. 300 is pushed to stack. We'll see what are the contents. 100, 200 and 300. Now if I want to pop an element from the stack. So the element which is pushed last will be popped out first. That is last in first out. 300 will be popped out from the stack. We are going to display the content again. So we have two elements in the stack. Again I will pop one more element. 200 is also popped out. I have given push option. So 500. 500 is pushed to the stack. I will just do pop once again. 500 is popped out. Again I will pop an element. 100 is also popped out from the stack. So now the stack is empty. We will check displaying the stack now. Stack is empty or even if you try to pop from the stack you will get the same message. Because the stack is empty and you cannot pop an element from an empty stack. So stack is empty and you cannot pop. So this is how it works. I can I just quit from this one. That's it about stack implementation using list in Python. Thanks for watching. If you like this video kindly subscribe for more programming concepts.